Welcome to another edition of Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. Yes, she is, and I'm David Jones. Today, we're going to look at how we can improve your home, make it safer, more efficient, and simply look better. We'll start on the roof and work our way through the house. And for the do-it-yourself crowd, we've got some more tips, this time on installing tile. You won't want to miss it. And we look at fire safety and prevention, something every homeowner should be aware of. Absolutely. And of course, there's going to be a surprise or two along the way. Ooh, surprises. Yeah, we like to keep everybody on their toes here at Designing Spaces. So you never know what's going to happen. So surprises, yes. I like it. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Okay, all you do-it-yourself types, you're going to want to see this next one. You know, tile adds so much to a kitchen or bathroom, but all too often a tile project is looked upon as something strictly for the professionals, right? Well, not anymore. That's right. Here's another tiling tip to help make your dream project mm -hmm. a reality. Take a look. Now you can take on tiling projects like backsplashes for the kitchen or bath or even a shower with the right tools and materials. To show us how to start a tiling project, we have Ron Sheldon. He's a regional training coordinator for HB Fuller Construction Products, a manufacturer of tile installation products. And to do the actual handiwork, Lauren Fontella is here today. She's a retail marketing manager for HB Fuller Construction Products. So, Ron, can you tell us what you brought here today? What we brought was our Tech Envision brand adhesive and grout. They're both ready to use, pre-mixed. What's the advantage of the pre-mixed products? Well, we take all the guesswork out of it for do-it-yourselfers. They don't have to worry about getting the consistency correct when they mix the mm, grout or the, the thin set. Today, we look at glass tiles. So let's talk about that. Well, glass tiles are transparent, so you can the light passes through. And if you use a white adhesive, it keeps the tile bright. If you used a dark gray adhesive, okay. it would make it look dull that makes sense, right. and ugly. You also don't want to use a lot of adhesive because you want them to sit flat because lighting, shadows will show through the glass. So as Ron mentioned, installing glass tile does have different unique features. So I'm, being a beginner, going to go ahead and install with Ron's guidance. All right. So what's our first step? First step would be apply the uh, adhesive to the wall. You want to use a, a thinner notch with this adhesive so you don't have as much buildup and unevenness behind the tile itself. That way the tiles will sit flatter and closer to the wall. So once the adhesive is all on, what is the next step? Actually setting the tile into the adhesive. So we have our first section done. You did a great job. That looks really good. Thank you. It's nice to see that I can have a brand new backsplash in just a matter of a day. Absolutely. Okay, so once we do the whole wall with the tile, what's the next step? The next step is letting it dry and then coming back and grouting it. Okay, how long do you let it dry? Uh, 24 hours. And then you're done. And, and then you have a beautiful done. wall. Yeah. That sounds good. Well, where can our viewers find all of the materials that you used here today? At Lowe's and TechEnvision.com. Great. Well, we'll have a link to that website at designingspaces.tv, where you can see this part of the show again, just in case you feel like you missed anything. We'll see you later. You know what I think? What? I may be biased, but I believe we've come up with some very good topics covering a lot of ground for homeowners looking to improve their house or their living space. I agree with you. And it's a good thing that we got to cover all of those topics today because now we're out of time. We are, but as I always point out at the end of our show, be here next week for more great topics and helpful suggestions from the whole Designing Spaces family. And by family, what we're referring to is our other shows, Think Green and Kids Spaces. Great show. But until next time, this is Designing Spaces. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.